I, I, I actually have a very positive opinion towards this chapter. I feel like this is one of the best chapters they've written. Okay. Despite the bullshit, I think that wow. this is. I think that this is one of the best chapters for the Dragon Ball franchise itself, because despite the bullshit that Dragon Ball always has, it's always been there and it's always gonna be there. It's Dragon Ball. Here we go. Welcome if you're new. <laughs> but um. This is, I, I personally think that this is really one of the best, if not like, you know, closest to the best chapter they've ever written. Because like, think about how much insight this one chapter, even in just a few pages, it's giving. We're having all types of revolutionary shit, like Goku actually remembering yeah. who he is and his family, things like that. Vegeta having a personal revelation about his pride, even though we don't understand it. He thinks he understands it, so that's what matters, I guess. <laughs> and, <laughs> right? So fuck that. But... Like, like all this stuff, like, yeah, okay, there's some fighting, there's some cool forms, like, it's Dragon Ball, we're gonna see those eventually, so I'm not really focused on those, like, yes, it's hype, yes, I'm here for it, but that's not what I'm focused on. The reason I think it's good is because of things like this, there's, there's a lot of, I like, I like when the lore gets, when questions get answered, when important questions get answered, and the fact that they did something, this chap, this chapter, perfect example, like wishing for you to thrive and all whoever heard of such pampered sayings and it's like okay so that that line kind of confirms that the wish really did like the wish just saved their lives that's pretty much what it was there for and that plays a lot of insight as to how how they're alive in the first place you know like the sayings were completely eradicated vegeta was off doing something else and then yeah raditz and goku really got lucky off a wish yep yeah yep. but they they, ta they talked about it within the chapter i don't but and then the guy like kind of deconfirmed it low key. It was like it was, I was low key confused about it. I'm what do you sure mean? We, but that was before. That was before like, this chapter. Did you, did you already like read that part? Is that within the chapter? What are you talking about? Exactly. Like as far as the as far as the um like for the wish shit, like because they talk about it in this chapter. Yeah, yeah, they talk about it, but. But like it, like it happened. Like there is no like if ands or fucking buts. Like right. no, it, ha it happened. But then the guy, I feel like the guy said some shit. I won't like. I are you talking about Manito? Yeah, the, the Namekian. Yeah, he he was he was basically saying like he doesn't he didn't really believe that just because they they that uh, Bardock wished that like it confirmed that they stayed alive. I don't know. I was confused you, by it. You gotta you, get to it though. All right, well, it's right here. Are you referring to when he was like Bardock? What a funny way for your will to be passed down. A people's pride isn't about atoning for sins of the past, and it ain't about taking revenge. It's all about accepting your nature and sticking to your convictions. Is is that what you're referring to? Yeah, because that's the only of, thing he said. Uh, like, he's clearing up the pride stuff. Yeah, because that's, that's literally like, that was like one of the last batch of lines that he had, because after this, they went right to the fighting. Yeah, because I, I would just kind of left off like, Effy about that whole thing because like Vegeta was because Goku didn't really believe it and then Vegeta was just like damn like you really were, are alive because of because of that wish or some shit like that and I was just like I, I don't know I felt iffy about that I don't know if it was like a hundred percent with me to be honest that's about yeah it. oh that's that good shit <laughs>